Did you ever wonder what happens to all the Easter candy that doesn't find its way into a basket? Sure, some of it's sold at a discount, but other chocolate bunnies aren't so lucky. These are a few of the leftover uh, Easter bunnies that uh, we've pulled from the shelves. The staff at Haven's Candies has already removed their shiny foil clothing and gouged out their candy eyes. Look at his eyes. I know, it's sad, but it has to be done. Save me. <laughs> Lined up like little soldiers, these bunnies are about to meet their melter. Any solid chocolate, these leftover bunnies you see right here, we're lining them up for a brief memorial and they're going to hop right into the melter. The small bunnies are poured into the melting pot en masse, but the big rabbits won't go down without a fight. It's not pretty, but the remnants are delicious. This is something that we don't normally do either, is eat samples while we're working. <laughs> I don't work here. Hey, I'm a girl in a chocolate factory. Are you kidding me? The staff has a good time with this not so sweet but necessary tradition. So long <laughs> until we meet again. Oh, it's fun. <laughs> but it's sad to see the big ones that take so long. It's sad to see those go because they take a while to make. The only way to get Lindsay over her blues was to hand her the hammer. The way these confectioners see it, they're not to blame for Bunny Meltdown Day. We are. Unfortunately, these rabbits didn't find a, a nice home uh, for the holiday season, so we'll try to rectify that and turn it into something else for the summer. New treats will rise out of this chocolate stew. Perhaps they'll come back as chocolate lobsters. All I can say is, you better look pretty, little bunny. Your days on the candy store shelf are numbered. In Westbrook, Maine, Amy Sinclair, NECN.